All right, welcome back to our Magic Square project. In this video, we're going to create a class for our Magic Square. And then in the next video, we'll create the runner to use the Magic Square. We're going to stick with um, odd numbered Magic Squares and because they're the easiest to do. That means our Magic Squares will be either um, 3 by 3, 5 by 5, 7 by 7. And we'll abstract it out so that you can make any odd numbered magic square. So we'll say public class magic square. And we'll leave places for our fields. Constructor. Assessors. Mutators. And um, to string oh, and any calculation and any other methods. Okay, so first of all, we need to set up a 2D array. So we'll say private and it's integers because we're only holding numbers. And then we do two sets of brackets for a two by two array. And then we'll just call it a square. Uh, we'll need a variable to hold the size of the array. So we'll say private in size. We'll need one to keep track of the rows and columns. So we'll say private int row. We'll need to know what row we're on at certain times. And private int column. We need to know what column we're, we're on. And then uh, we'll need to know um, because of the rule where we, um, if it's filled, we have to back up and then go down one. We're going to need to keep track of the last row and the last column we're on. So private int last row and private int last column. And then we'll need to know the matrix size. In other words, three by three, five by five. So private int matrix size. Okay, for our constructor, we're going to say public magic square. And we'll need to pass in the size of the square. So we'll just do a variable called int s for size. And then let's set the size. So we'll say size is equal to s. And then we'll create a square of that size. So square is equal to new int, and then the size of the square, which is number of rows and columns. So in other words, if we might have a 3 by 3 or a 5 by 5. Now if you remember from the video, we're going to start in the upper first row, um, middle column. So we'll set row to equal to 0. And then we're always going to be in the middle column to place our first number. So we'll say column is equal to size divided by 2. And in a 3 by 3, of course, we're in row 0, column 1, because our columns are 0, 1, and 2. OK, and then we'll set the matrix size, which I'll explain more later. So we'll say size times size. And because we always put the number 1 in the row 0, in the first row and the middle of the square, we can go ahead and set that when we create the square. So we're going to say square row column. bracket is equal to 1. And then we close the constructor. So we'll say end of constructor. Alright, so we need to create our assessors and mutators. So for public int um, 
and then we're, we're returning the square so we can say int two brackets there should be a space there and then we can return oops public excuse me public void and um no no void we're returning an array so public int square or on get square and we're returning the square which is square and then public void set square I don't think we're going to need a setter so I'm going to comment this out for right now and come back to it. Alright, so some of our other variables are um, yeah, we're not going to need this because we're going to just solve for the square, but we need some of the other variables for getters and setters. So size is next, so we'll say public um, int size sorry, yeah get size return size public void set size um, size is equal to s the next one is row column so public void sorry public int get call get row turn row public void set row uh, int r row is equal to r public int column get column return column public int public void set column int c column is equal to c we've got last row and last column and so public int get last row return last row public void set last row Um, int lr last row is equal to lr public int get last column return last column Public void set last column int lc last column is equal to lc and public int get matrix size return matrix size in public void set matrix size um, int ms matrix size is equal to ms.
right, let's go ahead and save. Going to create a folder. Save it. All right, let me compile and see if we have any issues. One error found. Doesn't like. Need a curly brace? Oh, shouldn't be any parentheses up here. It's not a method, it's a class. Now, cannot find symbol variable s. Ah. Uh, we need int s. There we go. Okay. So now we want to um, create a method for solving the magic square. So I'm going. Um, in fact, I'm going to, since this is a little bit of a lengthy explanation, I'm going to stop the video here and continue this method in the next video. See you next time.